2019 Ford Mustang Bullet. It's hard to experience the undiluted blend of love and hate more plainly than when strapped into the heavily bolstered Recaro seats of a 2019 Ford Mustang Bullet while the sound of wind buffeting invades the cockpit through a driver's side window left open just a crack. Oscillating pressure inside the cabin made mince meat out of eardrums and even though it would have been easy to relax my white knuckle grip on the wheel to shut the window while traveling at speeds too ludicrous to mention, it was the oral treat of the reworked 5.0 liter Coyote V8 that gave reason to persevere. Since Bullet hit the big screen in 1968, San Francisco has become a city that keeps the masses out through prohibitively expensive living costs and the pace of life that'll turn youthful thick black hair brittle and gray, a far cry from the easy-going peninsula that gave Warner Brothers and Steve McQueen the keys to the city so the pair could shoot one of film's most iconic chase scenes. It's for that reason that Ford invited us to drive the 2019 Mustang Bullet through Northern California's most iconic driving roads instead of the populated San Francisco hills that once sent McQueen and his Mustang flying, somewhere we wouldn't bother likely Ford stockholders and general members of the 1%. As the third bullet in the Mustang story, the first two being released in 2001 and 2008, the 2019 Mustang bullet commemorates the film's 50th anniversary and simultaneously reminds us that the current fastback Stang's design is so damn good it can yank all eyes to it whether slathered in bright colors and loud stripes or subdued by the removal of chrome horse-shaped badges and the application of dark shades of green or black paint. Unlike a clip from Michael Bay's latest Brast and Shoot Em Up thriller, Bullet, both the car and movie, is the essence of a gentleman badass, thrice distilled and remaining static under pressure. Subtle chrome accents provide a glimmer of light to the sea of dark paint and lines the outer edges of the grille, borders the edges of the side windows, coats the bullet lettering and bullseye logo at the rear, and surrounds the lips of retro 19-inch wheels that have had their faces painted in Henry's favorite shade of black. Behind those rims are the only inconsistencies in the color palette aside from the orange turn indicators up front, red Brembo brake calipers put in place to remind occupants that frictional forces provide a better insurance policy than any policy GEICO can muster.